McCain! Chief? So far, you've cost this department an expensive sports car, a prison transport, and a delivery truck full of electronics. Am I missing anything? The Bell Pepper Emerald? Huh? What? That thing's worth hundreds of thousands! You're gonna bankrupt us! Why did you do that? To get in with Vinny Papalardo's gang. Chan was working for him. You got into Papalardo's gang? We've been trying to pin a crime on him for years! So, you don't need Chan anymore. Okay. I've got a job for you. You're gonna get me photographic evidence against Chan's key gang members. Then we're gonna arrest them. And with a bit of luck, one of them will give us something against Chan. I'll need to buy a camera then. You've cost us enough. Just use your communicator's camera. If you can't figure it out, you can call Officer Phillips for help. Hey, Ellie. Chief said you could help me figure out the camera on my communicator. Now, I didn't even know it had one. Oh, that's odd. Let me check your device remotely. Ah, uh, there's your problem. You're running old software. I'll update it. There you go. I even stuck on some new ringtones for you. See? Thanks. I need to get some evidence against the key players in Chan's outfit. Easily done. Just get in a good position to observe them and follow the instructions on the camera. It's foolproof. Ellie? All I got were photos of my face instead of the suspects. <laughs> <sighs> but not Frank proof. Sorry. That sounded expensive. Before I get some photos, I'd better find out what deals are going down today. If I stake out the noodle bar opposite Chan's scrapyard, I might get lucky and overhear their plans during lunch. Looks like my hunch was right. That's it. I am splitting up with Janice. What is it this time? She accused me of not trusting her. She really said that? No. No, she wrote it in her diary. Are you the shop owner? Yeah. I bought this here last week and it doesn't work. Did you try putting batteries in it? Yes. Well, there's your problem. That's a hot water bottle.
Okay, gang. It's that time of the week again. We gotta pay up all these guys we've been having steal cars for us, so listen up. Ping, you're meeting Ray on the balcony of the pharmacy. Lee, Bobby's waiting for you in the alley next to Chance. And Feng, you're gonna take delivery of a rare car from Blake at the limo place. If you understand your jobs, then remain perfectly silent. Excellent. Off you go. You know, we'd make a lot more profit if we just stole cars ourselves. Proof of three crimes in three different locations. How on earth am I gonna get photographic evidence against all of them? Wait, what if I wasn't on Earth? If I get on top of the pagoda in the park, I could see all of those meeting points. Let's see if Ping's got to the pharmacy yet. And picture number one is uploaded. Nice. I really got his bad side. Now we can trace that boat theft back to you, Ping. Next up, Lee in the alleyway. Caught in the act, Lee. Naughty boy. I just need a shot of Feng receiving that stolen car, and I'm done. Ah, oh, fuzzy wuzzle. That's Feng with the cars obscured. I need to get a closer shot. That is definitely the stolen car. Hey, yo! Stop that! Chief, 
I'm looking at the pictures you just uploaded. I don't think anyone's gonna pay you to photograph their wedding, but they'll just about do as evidence. That was almost a compliment. Anyway, I've got undercover officers arresting the other gang members you photographed. So if Chan calls you, you know nothing. I don't want anything spooking him until we can get one of his gang members to testify against him. Yes, Chief. Oh! Driver! I know nothing! Don't worry, most of my staff are morons. But not you! I like you a lot! Wait, I did that wrong. Can I help you, sir? Yes, I have a job for you. Get to the Crescent Park Wharf. Now! Light as ever. Where did they come what? from? Come back and give you my insurance details later. Look where you're going! Oh, great. Whiplash! Oops, sorry. Are you there yet? Yeah. This job was meant to be for Feng, but I can't find him. Or Li, or Fu, or Ping. Maybe they're all getting coffee? Are you saying my coffee is bad? No! Something's up, and the only men I have left are you. And this bunch of dregs! <sighs> so, with all my most trusted employees missing, you're going to have to do the job for me. What is it? I'll give you the details later. No one can know about this. Just take my boat from the wharf and get to Apollo Island. Now!
Ellie, I'm on another job for Chan, and I get the feeling it won't be just a sports car this time. I'm headed to Apollo Island. What on earth could Rex want Chan to get from there? No idea. But this feels like a clue to me, Ellie. A big, fat clue. I'll update you once I know more. Have you got to Apollo Island, driver? Yes, sir. Good. I want you to steal a moon buggy. What? Well, what did you think I sent you to Apollo Island for? Ice cream? Would have been nice. Just get into the space center and steal a moon buggy! I should find a disguise so I can get into the space center. Maybe I'll even find a spacesuit. That'd be so cool. Send that letter.
Sheesh, that is one small step, Foreman. Perfect. While they're all busy working on the shuttle, I can just get to the moon buggy, which is somewhere around there. Uh, in the middle of the shuttle. Ellie, Chen wants me to take a moon buggy. Wow. Yeah. But I can't get to it because it's in the shuttle surrounded by mechanics, and I'm in the control room. Maybe you can do something to get their attention. That's the last thing I want, isn't it? No, because then they'll have to come to the control room, meaning you can sneak into the hangar. Okay. I'll just try pressing some buttons then. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> So I guess flying a rocket is basically the same as being in a rodeo. <laughs> Having your atoms scrambled by a teleport kind of tickles.
Freshener is still functioning. I can confirm that we are Pine Fresh. I repeat, Pine Fresh. It looks like this track's got a hole in it. Glad my watch doesn't take a battery this size. Now to find some way of getting all those workers out of the hangar. I guess destroying those computers wasn't the answer.
initiating rocket fueling. Rocket fuel level at 1% and rising. Rocket fuel level at 2% and rising. Rocket fueling is stalled at 3%. I don't suppose anyone has a full gas can in the car. Anyone? Okay, someone's gonna have to go to the gas station to get more fuel. This is embarrassing. That might get their attention. I hope that vent up there leads to the hangar. Whoa! Power levels have dropped off the scale. All engineering staff return to the control room and check systems. Ooh, I wonder if my driving license covers space rockets. Ellie, how do I get the moon buggy out of the shuttle? There should be a button you can press to open its delivery bay. And that'd need power to work, right? Yeah. Why? I think I broke the power supply back there. And now the control room is full of people. Right. Hang on. It's okay. There should be some high-powered lasers in the hangar. You can use them to power up the shuttle. Wow. There is literally nothing you can't find with these online encyclopedias. Okay. Anything else I should know? The annual rainfall in Lego City? Thanks, Ellie.
Laser one connected. Laser 2, connected. Limited shuttle systems, activated. My car! It's not your car! You are so possessive! Fine, it's our car, but it isn't his! Come on! Chance men better be waiting for me at the dock!
Driver, bad news. My men aren't waiting for you at the dock. Yeah, I can see that. They're running late. And by running late, I mean... Still sat here on their behinds! <gasps> oh, they've actually gone. <gasps> Who am I going to shout at now? They'll be here soon, right? I guess so. Just don't let the moon buggy get damaged until they get there. Oh, I'm going out to the street so I can yell at some strangers. See you, driver.